So here we are again talking about the gear from Attack on Titan. Levi, still a runt or have you grown some? Don't look like you've changed much at all, boy. Hey guys, this is Ka from Bar Studios TV, the who's, what's, where's, when's, and tens of anime. And today, we'll be looking at the anti-personal vertical maneuver gear and how it works. It may be a little bit confusing for most, so let's look and clarify some of the aspects of the gear. If you haven't seen Attack on Titan as yet, I'm issuing a spoiler alert. So without further ado, let's begin. The gear is built specifically to kill humans and is virtually useless against titans. That is the first iteration of it. This gear was developed in secret to take down the Survey Corps as they were basically the only threat to national security due to their autonomy. Now the gear is very similar to the vertical gear, however the blades are replaced with guns. Some years later, with the help of anti-Marleyan volunteers, a new anti-infantry, anti-fortification, and anti-Titan warfare gear was developed. The anti-personal maneuver gear equipment is combined with thunder spheres and semi-automatic pistols. While the principles for the gear in it are pretty much the same, the designs are drastically different, with the main components of the gear being worn on the shoulders and the upper back instead of the thighs. The user uses pistol-shaped grips which fires grappling hooks and high-powered projectiles. The movement of the equipment is very similar in that of the vertical maneuver equipment. The user just has to aim their grapple hooks at an object, fire, and then activate the gas mechanism to reel themselves onto that specific object. Now you might have guessed, just like the vertical gear, the weakness is pretty much the same for the anti-personal vertical maneuver gear, no matter what variant you're looking at. It is less effective in open spaces where the wielder has almost no place where the hooks can be reeled. Now this fact is also added to the impossibility of killing titans. With the pistols, the equipment is especially suitable for manhunting and urban warfare. It's quite useful for the military police brigade which focus their attention inside the walls and fight humans rather than titans. The operating device allows the user to load single-use cartridges, allowing the operator to fire a maximum of two rounds at a time. The individual weapon can be fired independently and also can be shot at great speeds while the wielder is moving. Every gun can shoot a single round with immense stopping power. This indicates that the rounds have an enormous caliber as well as these projectiles can blow up a human head like a watermelon. On the other hand, their penetrating power is limited as they can be stopped with something as simple as a corpse or with a blade made of ultra hard steel. When the rounds have been shot, the whole barrel is to be replaced. The user usually has extra barrels attached to their thighs. By the year 854, the Survey Corps has replaced the previous single load shotgun design of the anti-personal equipment with pistols able to fire multiple shots at once in a semi-automatic fashion. In addition, they have adapted the gear to be capable of equipping and launching Thunder Spears. Normally, one Thunder Spear is attached to each gun, but with the additional modifications, up to four can be attached. Have you ever thought to yourself, hey, what if I was a shark? I could consume anything I want and be the terror of the sea. Well, you might not be able to be a real shark in the real world, but here's the next best thing, a cyber shark. The only thing stopping you is that region block on your favorite site or streaming app. But hey, there's hope with Surfshark VPN. Be the aggressive consumer that you are and not be stopped by such a thing as a region block when it comes to your favorite shows. I got more out of every single website by simply changing my location with one of over 3,200 different servers on any device without ever slowing me down. In the last month, I've binge watched everything I could, like the true cyber great white that I should be. But then, of course, there was nothing else to watch, so I simply switched my location to Canada, and now I'm able to watch even more. And now, exclusively using our referral link, you can save over 80% on your membership. That's $2 a month! 
Come on, $2 a month? That's insane for all the features that you get. No joke, Surfshark is one of the best VPNs out there and the cheapest as well. You can't lose. It's an absolute win-win for you. So go, live your dream of being the biggest baddest shark on the seven seas and consume whatever program or feature you want in every website without being stopped or slowed down or even have to worry about security at all. Be the best you. Use the link in the description to start your membership today. And remember, every time you use one of our links, you support the channel to grow even better to bring you some of the best anime content out there. So go on, sign up your membership today. Now, back to the video. I bet you're really loving this video. Here's a great way that you can support us. Like, share, and subscribe to get notified of when we post new content. To actually get notified, click on that notification bell. Now back to the video. The body of the device. While with the ordinary vertical maneuver equipment, the body is located on the hips. In this model, it is located on the upper back. It is attached to the user's body with harnesses on the torso and arms. The hooks are stored inside the body of two axles and can be shot independently and are fired from the operating device located in the user's arms and not the hips. Compressed gas cylinder. The antipersonal maneuver gear has instead of two small tanks, one slightly wider tank, which is also strapped to the user's upper back. This is a part where the propellant gas is expelled. The operating device. The operating device is used to control all functions of the equipment. It is attached to the hands and bears the same similarities to the gun's grip. It has the triggers in the levers and can be used to control movement. And the triggers is used to shoot the guns as well. When it is unused, the operating device is holstered on the hips. So that's our video for today. I hope you guys checked out my previous videos on the vertical maneuver gear. I think there are three other videos on the uh, channel, including this, which would be four. So you guys know a little bit better of um, the type of gears that the Survey Corps uses when they are assassinating people these days. But <laughs> really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link to the other videos at the top of the screen or in the description or at the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Kyle and uh, peace out.